Okay, in this short tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at the math application. OpenOffice uses an uh, application called Math. Uh, it's a component for writing mathematical equations. It's most commonly used as an equation editor inside of text documents, uh, which would be Writer. Um, but it can also be used in other types of documents or as a standalone formula generator. I'm just going to start a quick text document. I'm at the beginning of OpenOffice again. It'll open up Writer for me. And I'm going to insert an object and a formula. And what happens here, a couple of things appear. I have a new dialog text box at the bottom, and that's my equation editor. And I also have a selection uh, user interface, and that's where I can select all of the different types of formulas that I might want to use inside my uh, text document. The top part of that are the selections, um, such as binary operators, set operators, operators and functions, and then the bottoms are the actual symbols. So, let's do an example. Suppose I wanted to just enter a quick multiplication uh, formula. I'm just going to hover over the um, I'm going to hover over the binary operators, and then I'm going to select uh, the multiplication field. And now I have um, a couple of things that have just happened. One, the equation editor now shows the markup language down in the bottom, the HTML. And in the body of the document, there's now a gray box that has the multiplication fields. So in the bottom text editor, those are placeholders where you can put your text that you might uh, want to multiply by. Or the digits. So let's just do that. I'm going to say I'm going to enter in uh, four times five, and that'll enter that into the fields. And I now have a formula that shows my very simple multiplication formula inside my text document. Now down here in the equation editor, I can also right click and get the same selection um, fields that I would inside that box at the top. Um, the same thing, relations, functions, operators, and so on. So if I wanted to add something below that as well, I could add another formula right inside that. And let's do it a, 